Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau voiced strong concerns about India's activities in Canada following a report by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Trudeau said the RCMP has clear and compelling evidence that agents of the Indian government are involved in activities threatening public safety, including clandestine operations and coercion targeting South Asian Can Canadians, further escalating the diplomatic row between the two countries. Take a listen. Uh, when I spoke with Prime Minister Modi uh, at the end of last week, uh, I highlighted how incredibly important the meeting between our national security advisors in Singapore this weekend was going to be. Uh, he told me that he was aware of that meeting. I impressed upon him that it needed to be taken very, very seriously. I think it is obvious that the government of India made a fundamental error in thinking that they could engage in supporting criminal activity against Canadians here on Canadian soil, whether it be murders or extortion or other violent acts, it is absolutely unacceptable for any country, for any democracy that upholds the rule of law. That is why we have taken such significant measures, why the RCMP chose to come out today and disrupt the pattern of Indian diplomats collecting through um, questionable and illegal means information on Canadian citizens that were then fed to criminal organizations that would then take violent actions from extortion to murder against Canadians. No country, particularly not a democracy, that upholds the rule of law can accept this fundamental violation of its sovereignty. Canada fully accepts and respects the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of India. We expect India to do the same. In this case, they did not. I had many conversations with members of my team and caucus members over the past uh, number of days. And all those conversations were focused on the well-being and the safety of Canadians faced with these significant security concerns and allegations. The safety of Canadians is the number one thing that any government, that any parliamentarians should be preoccupied with, and that is exactly what we're focused on. There will be time to talk about uh, internal party uh, intrigue uh, at another moment, but right now, this government, and indeed all parliamentarians, should be focused on standing up for Canada's sovereignty, standing against interference, and looking to be there to support Canadians in this difficult moment. As the RCMP Commissioner pointed out this morning, these are ongoing investigations that are already before the courts in some situations and will end up in trials uh, in the coming months in other situations. So what the RCMP can share, and the details of this, are extremely limited. As those trials unfold, much more will be known. The decision to inform Canadians right now by the RCMP is aimed at keeping Canadians safe, at disrupting this pattern of behavior that uh, these Indian diplomats have been involved in and ensuring that Canadians can feel safer, knowing that the RCMP is extremely active in these investigations and in following up on these criminal activities. Well, first of all, let's highlight that none of us want to be in this situation. This is not a choice that Canada made to create a... Um, chill in Canada-India relations. India is an important democracy, is a country with which we have deep historical people-to-people -people business ties at a time where the instability around geopolitics means democracies have to stick together. That is why when we started to understand through intelligence agencies that India 
was possibly, if not probably, behind Nijar's killing, the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil last summer. Our first choice, our first actions were to reach out, yes, to our Five Eyes partners, but also to the government of India to say, we know this has happened. Work with us to fix this. We don't want to be having this fight, but obviously the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil is not something that we can ignore as a country. So every step of the way, we have apprised India of what we know. I've spoken directly with, with Prime Minister Modi. We have engaged with intelligence counterparts. And unfortunately, every step of the way, both after I made the statement in the House of Commons last September and till now, the response of the Indian government has been to deny, to obfuscate, to attack me personally and the integrity of the government of Canada and its officials and its police agencies. And we have simply said, we're going to allow our agencies to do the work, particularly to move from intelligence collection from agencies to police investigations that result in arrests, trials, and consequences within a rigorous and robust and independent judicial system. That has been our approach every step of the way. And indeed, over this past week, when the RCMP reached out to its law enforcement counterparts in India, there was a path where we could have worked together to ensure accountability and changes and, and you know, steps that would have resulted in keeping Canadians safe, because that is our top priority. India, the Indian government, rejected those advances, rejected our attempts to find some way through this. And that brought us to this point of having to disrupt the chain of operations that go from dip Indian diplomats here in Canada to criminal organizations to direct violent impacts on Canadians right across this country.